There are no planets, no solar system, and no heliocentric model. The heliocentric model was created by a Jesuit priest named Nicolaus Copernicus and science in quotation marks has been trying to validate this model for 500 years without any success. Now there are ignorant and stupid people out there who will claim that believing in a heliocentric model has advanced the human civilization. Nothing could be further from the truth. Then there are others who claim that the globe model was makes predictions in our universe. They claim they know the density of the earth and other planets in quotation marks. I say rubbish. What they did was they stole the data from the ancient civilization who knew the earth was flat and stationary. These ancient civilizations observed the sky for millennia and more and they found out that everything in the sky is cyclic. If you observe the sky for a period of time then you would know and you would be able to predict heavenly phenomena in the future. And these space agencies especially stole these data from the ancient civilizations such as the Chinese, Egyptians, Indians, Mayans, etc, etc, etc. Planets are actually a Greek metaphysical invention. Metaphysics is very much similar to science fiction. It, it uh, derives from Greek mythology. Everything in the sky are basically lights or luminaries. Our sun and moon are unique. Then there are the wandering stars which people call planets. Then of course the stars which are so numerous. There is only one moon and that moon is in our sky. Soon after Nicholas Copernicus published his book De Revolutionibus Obium Colistium or on the revolutions of the celestial spheres there was a concerted effort by the then scientific community to push and try to prove this heliocentric model that was just created by Copernicus and one of the scientists in quotation marks was the Italian Galileo Galilei he made a telescope and observed the wandering star Jupiter. He noticed through his telescope that there were four stars in close proximity of Jupiter and he called them moons of Jupiter mistakenly. Today he's been held in high esteem by the scientific community for this reason and 
the four stars near Jupiter are called the Galilean moons but they are in fact stars he plotted the stars around the vicinity of Jupiter and mistakenly claimed they were moons of Jupiter. Galileo and millions of astronomers and amateur astronomers whom are called dishonest pricks are confused in reality. As I have said previously, there is only one moon, the moon in our sky. The moon, our moon, is close and local. Apart from our sun, everything else in the sky are either wandering stars or stars. There are no planets. Planets are not terra firma. You cannot land on them nor terraform them to live in the future. Now if you look at this diagram you will see that all luminaries travel from east to west. The stars at the top have a wider therefore longer circuit. If you are an observer on the ground looking up, then there are constellations and stars that have a very varying degree of circuit, some very small, and people get confused by this, uh, by this fact. One group of stars that have a short circuit are the stars that are close to Jupiter, which the heliocentrists call the moon of Jupiter. The shortest circuit that any star has are Polaris and Sigma of Tantis. Actually, from an observer on the on the Earth, those two stars will look stationary as if they are not moving. But in reality, they are also traveling east to west. Once again, if you look at this cartoon depiction of the heliocentric model, if you could just add stars with the wandering stars there, or the planets, as the heliocentrists call it, uh, stars further away from the center have a longer circuit. So replace the Sun with Polaris. If you know Jupiter from this model then add a group of stars near it with a shorter, shorter orbit. This will perfectly explain the moons of Jupiter and the circuit of those stars. This amateur video shows the wandering star Jupiter and the stars around it which people today call the moons of Jupiter and there are actually amateur astronomers whom are called dishonest pricks who will use CGI graphics to present these stars transiting Jupiter once you start to think for yourself and not parrot what somebody else has told you or taught you then you will start to make sense of this real world what you are seeing here is the wandering star jupiter with stars circuiting around it they are not moons of jupiter there is only one real moon and that is in our sky. Saturn is another wandering star 
that, that has been misunderstood and mislabeled. Further, people will claim that this wandering star has rings surrounding the planet in quotation marks. Nothing could be further from the truth. What you see here are not rings at all, but part of the genetic makeup of Saturn. NASA and other space agencies will present computer-generated images such as these and claim that the rings of Saturn are made up of ice and they will claim that they have sent probes and spaceships and did flybys of the planet Saturn. Saturn is simply an odd shaped wandering star. The main body of Saturn is revolving at an incredible rate, just like our Sun. However, unlike the Sun, Jupiter does not create energy or light. The rings of Saturn are in fact a vortex created by the spin and the ring is the same genetic material as the main body of Saturn. There are no planets. There is no solar system. There is no heliocentric model. Jupiter has no moons and Saturn has no rings. The Earth is flat and stationary. Thank you very much.